in this graph, uh, we see the evolution of uh, pipetting um, from left to right. Uh, the most basic tools uh, for liquid handling are the manual pipettes. These can be single or multi-channel pipettes. The next uh, step are semi-automated dispensers or diluters. And we pass then into the automated liquid handlers of different complexity, like um, compact entry level liquid handlers, high performance liquid handlers, and finally, fully integrated automated systems. Let's start with the first step of the evolution, um, which we all know, and these are the manual pipettes. Manual pipettes using fixed volume or adjustable pipettes are fast in small applications, uh, which accurately measure and dispense micro volumes of liquids between well plates, micro tubes, reservoirs, and only require the hand of a practiced lab technician. The next step after manual pipetting is semi-automation. Why you should choose semi-automation? Semi-automation offers a way for the labs to incrementally scale up production and increase reproducibility through liquid handlers that automate certain aspects of sample preparation. Instead of a technician manually setting volumes on a pipette or keeping tra track of steps uh, in the method, semi-automated liquid handlers automate those aspects of the work only requiring the technician to move a hand probe from vessel to vessel. When to move to the semi-automation from the manual pipetting? Well, uh, you can do this if you want to increase throughput from 10 samples to per hour up to hundreds, for example, or you want to increase reproducibility and the accuracy and the lower labor cost as well to minimize operator errors and to decrease the chance of stress injuries. Christina, talk about when to use manual pipettes and then talk about semi-automated diluters and then the common reasons to move to the next level of the pipetting journey, how we're calling this, is because we need a higher throughput, we need to reduce the dead volume of our samples or our reagents, or we need to perform workflows with steps other than dispensing or diluting. Here we move more into automated liquid handlers, also known as robotic workstations. In addition to liquid dispensing, the systems are able to perform a series of steps that form what is known in the automation work as workflows. In order to do this, they are equipped with various modules and accessories that perform specific tasks of that workflow. For example, it would be cooling the sample or cooling the reagents, heating, shaking, this kind of stuff that are additional to just pipetting. When will we need to move now to the higher level, which is advanced liquid handlers, then we might need even more throughput and than the one we can get with entry-level automated liquid handlers. We might want to have full walkaway methods, that is to say methods where there's no manual intervention, everything is done automatically. We need to pipette volumes of less than one microliter. And then the, here we move into the field of low volume dispensing. Or when we need to integrate modules and devices around the liquid handler. Commonly, this would be incubators, washer, readers, but it will depend on the application that, uh, that you're performing. Now, there are processes that have even higher requirements. For example, uh, in, in some cases, we need many third-party integrations, which uh, could be anything between three to 50 models of devices around the liquid handler, or even automating all the instruments in a room in which the liquid handler is just one of all the systems that is involved in the automation. Um, also, when there's a complex workflow that we want to run unattended during the weekend, or during the evening. So for this, uh, we need to make sure that we have enough labware, reagent, and we need a very good software that can plan the full workflow when we are not there. Or simply when we have a lot of more resources than the one that we can have on our deck. 
So here we're moving into what we call fully integrated automated systems, where Hamilton does not offer one standard solution. Everything here is customized because it really varies uh, depending on the workflow of the customer. So what I'm going to show you here is three particular examples of uh, integrated systems.